Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying five crumble cookies. These are all ones that we have not reviewed before. Uh, we have the Neapolitan, we have the uh, Frozen Hot Chocolate, the Walnut Chocolate Chip, this one is the sugar. This is called a classic sugar, and I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Look how thick that is. My goodness. And then this is the uh, cinnamon swirl. So before, when we reviewed crumble cookies, asthma sent them to us the first time in the mail. But then the two times after that we've tried them, we've been in the car both times. This time, Kevin went to Crumble and picked these up for us and brought them home. So we get to try them. It'll be a lot easier to deal with them here. The only thing is the warm ones may not be quite as warm. Right, <laughs> exactly. Let's try the classic sugar first. And I, I cannot stress to you, I mean, how massive this is. I was in there uh, getting these, paying for them. Uh -huh. And there was a girl behind this, uh, you know, the plexiglass partition right and she was just sitting over there cracking eggs she cracked eggs the whole like 10 minutes over there she was literally cracking eggs in a bowl really the entire, <laughs> the entire time it was hilarious a signature sugar cookie topped with a perfect pink swirl of almond flavored frosting mm -hmm. i think i can really get that almond flavor mm -hmm. that cherry like flavor. That's actually really good sugar food. I love the almond flavor and I'm really impressed that they actually use an almond flavor because mm -hmm. most sugar cookies, like um, your traditional loft house sugar cookie, uses just a regular frosting that you could get out of a tub. This, for them to have that almond in there, it makes all the difference mm -hmm. in the world. The cookie itself is okay. It's it's. It's better than your traditional sugar cookie because it doesn't taste that floury, pasty kind of flavor that most sugar cookies do. Right. Because I tried a piece by itself, and it's actually pretty decent. No, it's that's wonderful, mm -hmm. and I don't know who would not be happy to get that because it. I, I mean, just absolutely don't like almond. That's the only thing I could think of that that cherry flavor. If you but, don't like almond, yeah, that would be the only. That's the only thing I could think of. Okay, so now this is called. <laughs> this is called. Uh, Frozen hot chocolate. It is a chilled twist on a warm favorite. A cocoa cookie covered in swirls of hot chocolate mousse and topped with soft mini marshmallows. And this one says 30 grams is 510 calories. I didn't get a marshmallow because the beer was just a, a mini marshmallow. Just a marshmallow. <laughs> mm-hmm. They had a whole bag of them there behind the little when they're putting their things in. He was sticking it on top as he put them in the package. It's good. The that mousse reminds me of something I used to eat years and years ago. Very airy, very light. Um, it reminds me of a pudding cup. Yeah, but much whipped up, much more. Mm -hmm. than that. They used to have a whipped uh, the mousse cups. The whipped. Yeah. That that's what that reminds me. Of. Yeah, it it's nice. It. Um... Very it, cocoa -like. It's not like anything that'll blow your mind or anything like that, like some of their cookies I've had. Um, if you like a chocolate pudding flavor, mm -hmm. to yep. me that reminds me of chocolate pudding. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it, but would I choose it again? Like if they, if they, if this was something that, that's out now and it comes back three months from now, am I going to be in any hurry to get it again? No, it's not one I would repurchase. The sugar cookie I would actually repurchase. This Ooh, one is, soft. is called Neapolitan. It must be warm. An ode to a classic flavor of vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. Chocolate and vanilla cookies stacked together and topped with a tart strawberry frosting. 30 grams is 790 calories. So it is literally stacked, like mm -hmm. they said. Mm. It's really, really good. The strawberry... When they said tart, they do mean it. Just a little bit of that tart, punchy flavor in there, doesn't it? I love the texture. Not like super tart, like, ooh. But, um, this, yeah, it's just really good. <laughs> I mean, it tastes like, it's not, it doesn't taste like a natural strawberry. It tastes like a candy strawberry. It does. It almost, almost tastes like a punch like a, or something, like a Kool-Aid. Yeah, it reminds me of, um, 
like a Laffy Taffy strawberry, Don't. that kind of a candy strawberry. Very That's good. what it reminds me of, is a candy Laffy Taffy. Yeah, it's um, good though. It is very good. Um, they could do uh, a different topping. They could do the same two cookies without the strawberry, do some other, and it would be good as well. I mean, yeah. just to change it up, and they probably do. I the, do like that though. I do too. The strongest flavor there is the strawberry. It is the strawberry. Yeah, because the chocolate really doesn't even come through that strong. But I mean, you can get it, but it's not that strong. For me, I'm assuming the bottom cookie is just a sugar cookie. For me, the best thing about that cookie is the texture. Mm -hmm. I don't know, once again, that I personally would repurchase that cookie though, just like the last one, because of the strawberry. Yeah. Because it, um, to me, the strawberry is not stellar. Yeah, I like the strawberry. It's, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, now this one is has lots of, looks like walnuts. Yeah, if you're allergic to walnuts, don't get this cookie. Yeah, <laughs> walnut chocolate chip, a warm oat cookie studded with chopped walnuts and semi-sweet chocolate, 480 calories for 30 grams. It smells good. And I love walnut and chocolate chip, and it looks like they packed it. Mm -hmm. Now that, I love that. Mm -hmm. We really get the walnut flavor and the chocolate chip flavor. Yes, you do. That would be a repurchase for me. And it has some cinnamon. A touch, yeah. It didn't mention cinnamon, but I get a touch of cinnamon yeah. in it. Um, it's not overpowering or anything like that, but you do get a hint of it. That's um, good. It's a good cookie. For me, that would absolutely be a repurchase. It has Especially tons like of walnuts, walnuts tons of um, chocolate chips. I love the Odi cookie itself. Yeah. Yeah, for me, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, if you like walnuts, go for it. Because I think you'll like it. The last one is cinnamon swirl. Massive, massive cookie. Um, so some people have commented on the price in the comments. Oh, it's ridiculously expensive. But it's a huge cookie. It, it is, is a huge, huge and you're not gonna eat it all at once. I mean, I can't imagine Unless you haven't eaten all day or something, you're just really, really hungry. Or, I or, could eat a whole cookie. I could, but, but, but I, I don't think a lot of people do. I think a lot of people would half it and save half for later. This is a cinnamon swirl, a vanilla sugar cookie topped with a thin layer of cinnamon sugar and a thick swirl of cream cheese frosting. It is 540 calories for 30 grams. Oh, I don't want to lose my cream cheese. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I want to try the cream cheese. Yeah, the, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed that the cinnamon's not a little stronger, truth be told. It says a thin layer. Mm -hmm. The cinnamon's not nearly thick enough. No. It's good. It's very good. It is very good. But in order to make it great, it needs to have a double layer of that cinnamon sugar. Yeah, and it needs to go and out more towards the edge. And it needs to go out more, yes. Because so, there's literally a spot this big in the middle. It's like a Pop-Tart, how Pop-Tarts leave this thick edge around the, uh, uh, the sides. That's what they've done here, is you have this huge edge of just cookie where Kevin and I both are saying we would like them to go out a lot further mm -hmm. with that cinnamon sugar yeah. and put more on there. That would make it a five. Yeah, out like of five. like the topping on this hot hot cocoa. They they needed to put it out like way out next to the edge. Yeah, they went all the way, and even the sugar cookie. Yeah, the sugar cookie's going all the way out to the edge of that cookie. Yeah, so if they'd done that with that cinnamon, would have been really good. Yes, um, I, I would, like it though. I would still buy it again just because it is so good. Yeah. And these are made fresh right mm -hmm. there. So the next person that makes this may do it completely different. Exactly. I mean, there's standards that they have to do the cookies, but mm -hmm. you know, everybody does things a little differently. Right. So you need to put, you. what is your number one? Um, you're gonna buy it again and again. You're, gonna, you're tempted to eat another bite right now because it was so good. Probably the cinnamon. The cinnamon roll. The last one. Although the walnut one's really good too. Um, 
That cinnamon is very good. Mm -hmm. And despite us giving that our, you know, a little bit of a harsh critique, it is a delicious cookie. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say I would buy the um, the walnut chocolate chip. Yeah, it's right there. I mean, truly, it, they really are. And, I, and see, I like the chocolate, the hot, the hot frozen hot cocoa. I liked it better than you did. I think. I, I, think I, I really did, did like. To the me, it was pudding. like chocolate pudding. It wasn't a. There's, to me, it wasn't that special. There's not one here that I wouldn't buy again. Truth be told. Okay, well, and I would. I mean, I would not get the hot chocolate again, and I would not get the Neapolitan, the Neapolitan again. I was not crazy about that yeah. strawberry. Like it just. It. Um, and to be a candy strawberry, it wasn't the candy strawberry I yeah. crave. And so for me, it wasn't like a Starburst strawberry. So for me, even though I love the two cookies on the bottom, if you, if I scraped off all that strawberry, then I would want it. So if they do it again, that's what I'm saying. If they do it later in the year with another topping, you make a black and white cookie with just the chocolate. Yeah, bar, then I'll totally do. buy it. I'm just I just don't care that much about that yeah. strawberry. I like. Um, <laughs> but the sugar cookie, mm -hmm. the walnut chocolate chip, and the cinnamon swirl yeah. are, to me, those Those are my top three as well, yes. but I'm just saying I also like the other two, too. So if you get to try them this week, um, of course, you might have already tried the sugar cookie. This is, a, it's a returning cookie. Uh, let us know what you think. If you want to give your favorites or your top three, we would love to hear what they are, and thanks for watching.